Are you looking for a fast, easy way to enclose a character or two in a common shape? In this video, I show you a secret tool that Word has for this very purpose. You may already know that Word allows you to add shapes to your document and then insert text within those shapes. That might be overkill, however, if all you want to do is add a circle or a square around a single number or letter. For this purpose, you would be best to utilize a secret tool buried within Word. The first step is to add the tool to your Quick Access Toolbar. So I'm going to go over here to the File tab and go all the way down to the bottom, click on More, and then I'm going to choose Options. This displays the Word Options dialog box. Since we're going to add this tool to the Quick Access Toolbar, I choose Quick Access Toolbar, and then here in the uh, drop-down list, I'm going to choose All Commands. That shows then all the commands that are available within Word that you can add to the toolbar. Now I'm going to scroll down to the uh, look for the E category. These are in alphabetical order. And so I keep clicking to go down quite a bit here. And I'm going to get to the one that says right here, enclose characters. You can see it's got the three dots right after it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then click on add. And it adds it over here to my quick access toolbar. When I click on OK, you can see that at the quick access toolbar area at the top of the screen, there's a new icon there for the tool that we just added. To use the tool, all you need to do is select one or two characters that you want to be enclosed. I wouldn't choose any more than two characters as that can lead to some ugly results. The tool works just great though with one or two characters. So I'm going to go right into the middle of my sample text here and I'm going to select the number one because I want that enclosed within one of these shapes. And then all I have to do is just click on the tool right up here and it displays a toolbox that says enclose characters. What you can do then is you can choose the style of how you want this particular shape to be handled. It can be done either uh, with no change to the text itself, in other words, to the number one, or you can shrink the text to put the shape around it, or you can just make the symbol itself larger without making any change to the text itself. I'm going to allow it to shrink the text, that's what's selected, and then choose which of these four shapes I want to go around that text that I selected. So for my purposes here, I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, circle. And when I click on OK, you can see, if I unselect this, that that number one has been shrunk down a little bit and the circle has pl been placed around it. I can do the same thing with a letter over here. All I have to do is select the letter that I want done and then I'm going to click on the same tool again. I'm going to still keep it as shrink text, but this time I'm going to put a square around it. And when I click on OK, you can see that there's a square around that particular uh, character that I had selected in there. You have to understand that the way that Word does this is through the use of fields. So you can go and you can select this and you can press Shift F9 to expand the field and you can see the field that was used to create that particular enclosure within that text. What that means is, is that if you wanted to change the letter or the number that's within the text, you have to do it within the field itself. And I would do that just by choosing, in this case, the A and making it a B and pressing F9. And now you can see that it's a B within that square.
I want to talk to you a little bit about the styles that are used within this enclosure method or this enclosure tool that we're talking about here. So I'm going to go ahead and press Control Z a few times so that I get uh, rid of that enclosure that we had around the letter A. And now I'm, I've got the A selected again and I'm once more going to click on the enclosed characters. These styles you need to pay attention to. Some of them work very well with different with different shapes. In other words, shrinking the text, you could see, works pretty well with these uh, two, with the circle and with the square. It doesn't work that great with the triangle because you'd have to shrink that character down quite a bit. But what you can do is you can enlarge the symbol and use it with this one. And then when I click on OK, you can see that it made it quite a bit larger. And for some purposes, for some let's say some signs that are going to go on the wall or some labels that you want to create to go on a product, this will work just fine. The A itself did not get enlarged. It enlarged the shape that went around that A, which made that whole line much taller. And that's why it opened it up uh, within the paragraph here so that you have so much space in between the lines. When you're uh, working with the enclosed characters tool. You have to play with this a little bit to get exactly the look that you want for what you're trying to accomplish by enclosing the characters. We'll do this with the enlarge one more time. Click on OK and you can see what it did there. It didn't quite center the letter within this. So for my particular purposes, this may not have worked but a different shape and a different style for applying that shape would have worked. Again, you'll have to play with it to, to, to understand exactly how it works and then choose which enclosure method you want to use for your purposes. I hope you found this video helpful. This hidden tool in Word can be a great way to easily enclose a character or two. If this video was helpful to you, you can help me by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way YouTube will let you know whenever I add any new videos to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.